Hi guys, my name is Whitney, and this is video number five of our series discussing the importance and techniques of piping system protection and preservation. Today, we're gonna walk through why it is important to keep unwanted debris out of your piping system components. Along with protecting critical surface areas from damage and corrosion, stopping debris from entering your piping components is paramount. If you do not prevent this, it can cost tens of thousands of dollars to remove and could cripple your construction schedule, causing you to miss critical milestones on your project timeline. Now, what kind of debris can you expect to see in your piping components? Well, when the fabrication process occurs, grinding dust, welding slag, or buckshot can be left behind, and during blasting and painting, it is difficult to keep blast media and paint overspray out of your piping components. Also, during construction, shipping, and storage in laydown yards, we have heard of all types of foreign objects getting stuck into open pipe ends. Blowing winds can introduce sand, dead grass, and leaves. Construction craftsmen often leave behind things like cigarette butts, food wrappers, and a multitude of construction-related items. We have also heard of things like rodents, tennis shoes, and even lawn chairs being found in open piping components. During a turnaround at a smaller chemical plant, a contractor left a one-inch nut inside an open piping system. When the unit came back online, that nut caused over $1 million in damage and lost revenue. One EPC spent $750,000 just hydrocleaning components on a large LND train prior to final assembly, commissioning, and startup. Rotating mechanical equipment like pumps, compressors, and mini valves are extremely susceptible to damage due to granular debris getting left in the piping system. Proper procedures and protection products are essential to your piping system preservation efforts. Done correctly, and you will have a seamless, a simple commissioning and startup, saving you tens of thousands of dollars in repair and delays on your project. Make sure you guys join us next week when we start to look at how to select the right flange and pipe protector that fits your specific application. Please give this video a like, got any questions or comments, give us a call, shoot us an email, or leave a comment below.